Hey, Fortif team. Uh, super excited to talk about uh, our newest segment, our healthcare segment with Pat Murphy, our segment leader. A lot of great things going on in the segment. Excited today to talk about them. So, Pat, good to see you. I'm, I'm excited to be here, Jim. <laughs> for, for a lot of folks that might be new to Fortif or not in the healthcare segment, what, uh, what are the critical workflows? How would you describe the segment? Yeah, so we operate in three primary workflows as I think about it. The first one is around the perioperative loop. We have two pieces in that. We have the uh, what we refer to as the operational workflow, which is where we see uh, the census and ASP business. And then we have the clinical workflow that came to us as part of the probation yeah. uh, deal. So the perioperative loop is really the most significant area of, of, of focus. In addition to that, we work with biomedical engineers on equipment making sure that medical equipment is is working effectively and safely and i would say that's the second area of, of workflow for us a big focus for the fluke health business and then you know we just had a chance to talk with the census team or the excuse me the Invitec team about their position in life science yeah. and medical diagnostics and and that's uh, more about creating next generation uh design design and, and build of, of next generation equipment but those are the three major workflows yep. that we operate in good great stuff and, and i think is as, as you mentioned all of those we always talk about our shared purpose of essential technology for the people who accelerate progress how would how would you describe how healthcare really fits that shared purpose well you know i think that um essential technology essential technology in our case is so applicable and, and how we can use it to yeah. accelerate um, and how we we can impact um, a really broad segment of, of the population of the world, which is really exciting. I think about this business that we, we focus in three real areas of accelerating progress. The first one is, is around safety and making, making the environment safety, safer for both patients and for healthcare providers. I think the second area is around effectivity of, of processes yeah. that happen there. And we've got, um, you know, as an example at probation, um, their knowledge and they're really, they really have kind of the standard work associated right. with how process is supposed to work uh, in, a, in a hospital and a procedure, an OR procedure or otherwise. And then I would say the final thing is about, about improvements in efficiency. And, and I think that one of the most significant things in healthcare today is being able to reduce cost. There's issues with shortage of the people. And you know, we have our, our businesses, especially when I think about probation and I think about census, their ability to uh, improve the efficiency of processes, yeah, huge, productivity. huge productivity improvement. And it's really helpful because it allows doctors and nurses to be able to really concentrate on yeah. patient care and less about you know documentation of right. procedures. And so those are the real areas where I think we we really accelerate progress across those three areas. Great explanation. And we're, we're kicked off, as you mentioned before, we kicked off our strategic plan process in our healthcare businesses today with Invitec. You know, how, what, what you see today, what do you, you've obviously gotten a view of, early view of a number of the plans we're gonna see through the rest of the week. How, how you know, what, what really stands out in some of the things we're doing strategically here? We're going to talk about three different really common themes yeah. as I think about it. Um, one of them is that we have a number of our businesses that are going to be showing us continued adoption of technologies that we've put into place, but but where there's white space and our ability to continue to, to, to grow. We're going to be talking to Census tomorrow and we're going to hear a story of 300 new doors at, at, at yeah. Census just for next year. So, and, and we have that same situation at probation where we, you know, we've gone to our new SaaS platform, uh, cloud-based platform. And so we've got that aspect of kind of adoption as, yeah. as one key, key theme. We're gonna hear an exciting story at ASP about changing go-to-market and certain, how we go to market, getting us closer to, uh, to end customers is gonna be an exciting uh, part of, of that conversation. And I would just say in general, where you're gonna hear stories of innovations across all the businesses, yeah. really fueled by the work that they're doing in, in LPM. And, and we've, we're have we in various stages across the business in right. the implementation of LPM, but it's a super powerful tool. And you know, I'm super excited about how, how that tool and that capability is being built to create innovation that's really gonna make a difference. Lean portfolio management, one of our, uh... I think truly great changes that we've made to the Florida business system over the last three or four years. And I think really making a difference across the portfolio 
not just in health, but as you point out, but across uh, all of Florida in terms of being able to accelerate innovation. So excited to hear a lot about that. We certainly heard that with the Imitech team today. You know, maybe finally, but all our team members are going to hear this, and, and we built a great team focused in healthcare. Mm -hmm. um, you know, thoughts around that continued growth opportunities for our team members who joined us uh, to really work in the healthcare industry. Yeah, and it's exciting for me, Jim. I, you know, as I have, as you know, my primary focus now being in healthcare, yeah. it's really allowed me to see this kind of really mission driven focus that our teams have. And and it's a common spirit across all the all the people right. that work within the AHS business. As you have, I've worked in a lot of different businesses over yeah. over my career. People get excited about the business they're in, but there's something a little bit different about the mission that we have associated with healthcare. And so I think what we we begun to do is is bring companies together that have commonality of process, commonality of customers, um, uh, points of sale where 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 um, decision makers for different businesses are are common yeah and so the ability for us to be able to find opportunities to grow people in that keeping them in the space that they really love which which a lot of a lot of folks in healthcare are you know they're dedicated to to the space that we're in and the opportunity at Fortive that we have within the ahs business to to offer people opportunities to grow i think is 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 a yeah. is, is a good is a great factor for us to be able to offer to the team we're really excited about uh, this week with the strategic plans. I think it really outlines the the future of the, of the company as you just, you know, as you just talked about the future of the strategy is incumbent upon the quality of the organization. And we're incredibly uh, fortunate to have the team we have across all of our healthcare businesses. It's been great to talk to you, Pat. It's a always a great opportunity to be able to share from our segment CEOs their vision for the future. We've got a great one in healthcare. We'll, uh, hopefully this was interesting to everybody. We'll look forward to seeing you here in person in a number of our strategic plans on the road. We're here in Nashville, Tennessee for the next couple of days, but we'll, we'll soon be at a theater near you. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Take care of your friends. Take care of your family. Take care of yourself, and we'll see you on the road. Excellent. Thanks, all.